Hello everybody, it's Crappie Dan with Crappie Now Magazine, tip of the month. I want to talk about weed guards on jigs. Big, big issue. If you notice on this particular jig, um, brand is unimportant at this point, notice how long the plastic is for the weed guard. This weed guard, in my opinion, is too long to protect this hook and have crappie bite it and get hooked on it. You're going to lose a large percentage of your fish when the weed guard is this long. So I like to shorten the weed guards when it's this fiber type of, of a weed guard. So what I like to do is I like to cut it. This, this weed guard on this jig was the same size as the previous one. And I want to show you what I have done to that jig. You can see now it's level with the hook. It's still going to protect that hook when you bring it through a tree or across the limb, but it's going to protect it. I also left two to three strands of that plastic up here to help protect it. So that's one way with this type of guard that you can protect your hook and be able to cast it and bring it through brush piles, bring it through limbs, whatever it may be. Now there's a, another alternative that Roadrunner uh, came out with, and this is a wire guard. Most wire guards are too strong for the crappie bite, and it keeps you from really hooking up with those fish. This particular weed guard, if you look really close at it, it's double and it's, it's metal, but it's so easy to bend. And look where the position is in, in comparison to the hook. Those are very light wires. Hope you can see them there. You can see they even have a little bitty end off of them that helps that hook to glide over brush into the pockets of the brush for the fish. And it works very, very effectively. So make sure when you go get your jigs with weed guards that if they're too long trim them down or get a road runner stick you a bobby garland on there you're good to go to go into those brush piles the next time it's crappie dam with crappie now magazine catch a lot of slabs